Hello, this is Sister Charlene Winston, and I'm coming to you today with Monday's Daily Bible Study. I want to thank each of you for joining with me as we get together to study the Word of the Lord. Amen. Our Monday's lesson is so similar to Sunday's lesson, but you will see the difference. Amen. The lesson for Monday is the sower and the seed. The sower and the seed. So, as I was saying, uh, on Sunday's lesson, uh, we were primarily talking about the sower, but now we're talking about both the sower and the seed. Amen. Our lesson comes from Matthew, the 13th chapter, the second verse through the 23rd. So it is kind of lengthy, so, but we're still going to uh, try to get through within the 15-minute uh, time frame. Amen. I want to ask that if something is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to jot them down at the bottom below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Amen? And also, if something is said that touches you, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to let you know every time I post something different and new out. Amen. And through the grace of the Lord, we will be con uh, consistent in posting regularly. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started. We're going to have prayer. Then we're going to get started into our lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and strength. We thank you for making a way out of no way. Lord, we know that you are a light in our shining armor. We thank you for making a way out of no way, Lord. We ask that through your grace and mercy, that you open our eyes that we may see and our ears that we may hear and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we study your word. We want to invite you in with us as we study your word, Lord, that our spirit would be awakened within us and that we will receive what you have for us to receive. Lord, we, uh, at this time, Claim healing, blessing, protection for all those under the sound of my voice, Lord, that they may be uh, uh, blessed, healed, and protected. You said by your stripes, you, they are healed, that we are healed. And we claim that healing right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we claim that healing on your word. And we don't uh, pray for it. We don't uh, beg for it. But we claim it as you did in your word. You you, you pronounce healing. You pronounce uh, uh, that devils will be cast out. And we claim healing for those that the sound of my voice. Amen. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, we're going to get ready to get started, and we're going to go straight through this lesson because, as I stated, it is lengthy. The, uh, the sower and the seed, Matthew 13, verse 2 through 23. And the scripture lesson text reads, And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sword went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no depthness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered them, answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, By hearing you shall hear, and shall not understand, 
and see and you shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see and with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For veil I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower, when any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, they, then cometh the wicked one, and catches the way that which he which was sown in his heart, this is which, this is he which receives seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but doeth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hears the word and care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receives seed into good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty and some Thirty, Amen. This is a great and powerful passage uh, coming from Matthew. And as we know, uh, it's a slight difference in that one is, is in uh, uh, Luke that we read in, in Sunday's lesson. But if you notice that there is, uh, as in each of us, when we hear something, there's a difference that what we hear and what we perceive. Amen. Commentary says Jesus entered into a boat that he might be less pressed and be the better heard by the people. By this he teaches us the outward circumstance of worship, not to convert, convert that which is stately, but to make the best of the conveniences God in his providence allows to us. Christ taught in parables, thereby the things of God were made more plain and easy to those willing to be taught, and at the same time more difficult and obscure to those who were willing, willingly ignorant. The parable of the sower is plain. The seed sowed is the word of God. The sower is our Lord Jesus Christ by himself or by his ministries, ministers preaching to a multitude is sowing the corn. We know not where it will light. Some sort of ground, though we take ever so much pains with it, brings forth no fruit. Purpose, while the good soil brings forth plentifully, so it is with the hearts of men. Those whose different characters are here described by four sorts of ground. Careless, trifling hearers, are an easy prey to Satan, who as he is the greater, great murderer of souls, so he is the great thief of sermons, and will be sure to rob us of the word if we take, if we take not care to keep it. Hypocrites like the stony ground often get the start of true Christians in the, sh in the shows of profession. Many are glad to hear a good sermon who do not profit by it. They are told of free salvation, of the believer's privileges, and the happiness of heaven, and without any change of heart, without any abiding conviction of their own depravity, their need of a Savior, or the excellence of holiness, they soon profess an unwarranted assurance. But when some heavy trial threatens them, or some sinful advantage may be had, they give up or disgust or disguise their profession or turn to some easier system. Worldly cares are filthy compared to thorns, for they come they came in with sin and are a fruit of the curse. They are good in their place to stop a gap, 
but a man must be well armed that has much to do with them. They are entangling, vexing, scratching, and their end to be burned. Hebrews 6 and 8. Worldly cares are great hindrances to our profiting by the word of God. The, the deceitfulness of riches does the mischief. They cannot be said to deceive us unless we put our trust in them. Then they choke the good seed. What dis, dis, got, distinguished the good ground was fruitfulness. By this, true Christians are distinguished from hypocrites. Christ does not say that this good ground was no, has no stones in it are no thorns, but none that could hinder its fruitfulness. All are not alike. We should aim at the highest to bring forth most fruit. The sense of hearing cannot be better employed than in hearing God's word. And let us look to ourselves that we may know what sort of hearers we are. Amen. Amen. This is such a powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on that and look at Sunday's lesson and see the differences in them. It's such a great lesson that we have this week. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful and blessed week. Amen.